the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. It all began in the 70s. Disneyland with the lights off. Sunday, July 25th, 2021. So I'm going to jump to the end of the story, and then the rest of the episodes will fill in the middle. I want to be clear about something. Uh, This is not trying to paint myself as any sort of a saint or an angel, quite the contrary. This is a story of real life, struggle, difficulty. And why should you listen? Again, this is not about me. I want to make two points, two points in this series. One, that the God of Israel is real and can be trusted, and you should believe him like believe in him like I do. The second is that investing and not gambling is the future. I mean, it should be pretty obvious on the second one, but the current climate and direction seem to be trying desperately towards sucking the public into a known vice that is destructive, harmful, will not benefit anybody but the operators. I mean, come on, it doesn't even pass the sniff test. Think about it. Would you really put your future into gambling? I mean, as Zach Ward said a couple years ago, he really summed it up pretty concisely. If your daughter were to bring home a professional gambler, how would you feel about that? That pretty much brings the matter home, right? So, jumping to the end, let me say this. This entire story is about a nobody from nowhere. And believe me, uh, you couldn't even spot the town on a map where I came from. Uh, It's so small. Literally hundreds of people... uh, You know, the town I actually spent most of the time in, very, very small town. I'll get to that later. Um, I was difficult. I should have gotten in a lot more trouble than I did. This is a story of vandalism, bankruptcies, divorces, alcohol, drugs, dealing with prostitutes, being around the wrong people, and yet somehow ending up in Hollywood, um, which was a childhood dream. But again, that's another part of the story. Um, I should have been wiped out over and again, over and again, so many different ways, yanked out of the fire. Um, Why am I here? I'm here to tell this story. That's the only reason. Uh, There is no other explanation for why. I'm still here and why all sports market, in spite of every attempt to destroy it, just doesn't die, doesn't die. Um, It's not through any lack of effort attempting to kill it uh, by many different parties, entities, bad actors, etc. Disneyland with the lights off. What does that mean? That's actually something A said to me a number of years ago when describing America. And don't tell me you don't feel it. Even before this pandemic, which I'm becoming increasingly skeptical of, um, keep moving the ball on us in terms of, uh, you know, the vaccines and what we should be doing with that. Um, In the beginning, I thought it was what it was purported to be. Now I'm not so sure. Uh, In fact, my skepticism grows by the day. Uh, anyhow, that'll that's another matter. So Disneyland with the lights off, that's America. And I would say the Western world at large, don't tell me you don't feel it. Don't tell me you don't know something's wrong. You may try to convince yourself uh, otherwise to feel better for a moment. Maybe pop a beer, go out with some friends with a mask on. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? But don't tell me you don't know something is wrong. Something is very wrong. I've been alive long enough now. Uh, I'll be 52 here in a few months. Uh, I've seen some things. Um, I've been in business since I was literally 15 years old. Um, I've watched the culture develop over this period of time. I've been conscious of what's been going on really since, as I said in the first episode, since 
since very early childhood. I, I mean, I watched the Nixon affair, the end of it, basically. And uh, it just, it gets progressively worse uh, over time. It, you know, the 80s were, I guess I would say the 1980s were, for me at least, um, a brief respite in what has really kind of been a downhill slide. Um, the 80s were exciting. That's really when the computer business came of age. But otherwise, when I got out into the world and started buying into the program, I would call it, you know, the marketing construct that we all find ourselves in, it wasn't for lack of trying that um, I went looking for the American dream like everybody else. Uh, I've had close to 100 cars in my life. Most of those have been new, Some somewhere around 70 or so have been new cars. Um, I found success pretty early in the computer business, and I, I went looking for it and uh, thought I was doing what you do. Uh, but always had this emptiness inside like something was wrong, uh, even in the midst of um, the best parts of, the, of it. You know, when things were really going well, I would say in the mid-90s, that was probably the peak time. I just remember business was easy. It was always more than I could do. Uh, I could go where I wanted, do what I wanted, buy what I wanted. Uh, just I never felt restricted. Things felt comfortable. And uh, even then, it was... There was this just feeling in the back of my mind that something isn't right here. So if I felt that uh, with everything going as it did, you know, what would it be like for someone who never, you know, for whatever reasons never got there, right? Was never able to um, find themselves in that position where they could pretty much do what they want to go where they wanted. Now, I'm not saying I could do anything. I'm just saying within the realm of what I wanted to do, I mean, I didn't desire to have an airplane with my name on the side of it or a helicopter or anything like that. But I uh, I enjoyed cars a lot, so I was able to buy what I wanted when I wanted. And like I said, went through almost 100 of them so far. Um, and, you know, so within that scope, I did what I, I wanted to do. So if I felt it something was wrong and I was able to do all that stuff, then what does it feel like for someone who never, who got sold that idea of the American dream, whatever the hell that means, um, and can't achieve it, right? Or never has felt it. It's always been a struggle. Um, yeah, so it, it the, the trouble runs from the top of the spectrum to the bottom of the spectrum. You know, even in Hollywood, I saw people at the top of their game, and even Ace said this to me once, you know, uh, he may not remember this, but he did. Uh, he said, you know, why is it that I feel like I feel when I'm, why do I feel lonely and and, and all and unfulfilled and that things don't seem right when I'm in a room full of people and I'm where society tells you, this is a paraphrase, but it was basically, you know, I'm at the, one of the tops of the game and yet I feel empty inside. So you wonder why these Hollywood folks off themselves and all these terrible things happen when they should be the picture of everything that's right. Well, I've seen that firsthand. I mean, I've spoken to those people and I see the emptiness uh, in their eyes, you know. It's like, wait a second, I'm, I'm, I'm where I've been told I should aspire to be and yet I sit here empty. So my hope is that the, through the telling of, of this story that a couple things happen that you realize uh, – you know, maybe you learn something that's helpful for your own life or you don't feel so bad uh, about things that have happened because with pretty few exceptions, I mean, I haven't killed anybody, but I've pretty much been through everything else, um, you know, that you find some inspiration and that, of course, ultimately, I hope that this bleeds over and that, you know, we ultimately achieve what we're after, which is a world based around sports investment and and that becomes the core of the economy and the core of the educational system. That's the hope. That's a legacy I would like to leave behind in this world. Um, certainly, in place of of the gambling thing. I mean, come on, watch Back to the Future, Biff's Pleasure Palace. You know, why are there bars on the windows? That's the. Do you want that dystopian future? Um, you know, for me, it's not about my future anymore. It's about the future of my kids. Uh, I have kids in the in in the tw early twenties age range. Um, you know, I want their, it's about their future. It's about their kids' future. 
Uh, it has nothing to do with me. It's about legacy. It's about having done something with my life on this earth, left it in better condition than I found it. Boy Scout rules. So what we have is Disneyland with the lights off. Think about that. I say let's turn the lights on. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.